So don't leave, Nick. What we'll do now, in the last 10-15 uh, minutes, we will uh, have a small panel here. And I urge the uh, audience to ask questions. If not, we have enough for ourselves. But it would be very nice if, uh, if, you, can, uh, if you can have uh, uh, some of your own. OK, so uh, uh, how will you do it? Uh, maybe we'll give you one mic, and people can come. And, uh, One, two. Okay, any question? Yes, please. Freezing gear? Okay. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Yes. Can you can you please stand up and, and please ask more loud? So I will repeat the question. Uh, I don't know your name, but uh, he was asking. Um, there's always a, there would also if there's always be a prompt that will reproduce something that we wouldn't be able to detect. And I think that I agree. Yeah, the the um, different prompts would recreate different things, and as it's sort of an escalating sort of competition, right? If I detect something, they would use it in a prompt and tell it to do it, and then, yeah. 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 Yes, please. Absolutely, you're absolutely right. It, it works both ways, and even more, actually. But you're right. And, and I don't think we are that far yet. There is much more to be learned about that. But you mentioned the right uh, word. It's like a game. It's like you have uh, agents playing against each other. Think of the other side. How do you manufacture a rumor so that it will spread as strongly as possible? And then how do you counteract that? And that keeps going. OK, till you uh, think about a question, I will ask uh, uh, the panel, uh, you know, hearing all uh, those uh, tools, specifically generated AI and so on, how do you see social networks looking 10 years from now? Maybe Itai will take it first. That's a heavy question. Um, I think that the basic concept with social media was that that's the, the square where we all go and, uh, and talk to each other, humans. And, and what's happening now that is being accommodated by bots and with AI, we will not be able to identify that we are talking to a bot and not a human being. So 10 years from now, when the AI is much, much better, we have the risk of uh, uh, talking to bots and not to humans. And then you want to ask about what's going to happen to society when, not, when we're not talking to each other. You can imagine that that's I don't know, the, the uh, pessimistic part. The optimistic part, as cybersecurity 20 years ago said that uh, we are going towards a catastrophic future and they were able to find the right solutions, uh, I want to be optimistic and hope that my esteemed colleagues will find the right algorithms and 10 years from now we will still have the future version of social media where we still be able to communicate with humans and, and have humanity. Uh, so, 
thinking back, actually, the golden age of uh, social networking was 2003 to 2008, kind of. That's where many of these things became very uh, kind of prominent. And uh, younger people started uh, uh, using them a lot. Eventually, everybody was using them and so on. So, so, so if we were to, if, if we knew then what we know now, how would we redesign actually these networks? So, so, and today, if we are to redesign these networks to position them for 2030, for example, or 2035, what do we need to take care of? So in my mind, one of the things we definitely need to take care of is robustness to rumors, misinformation, you know, basically what I was trying to, uh, to uh, argue for. That's one element. It's not the only element because uh, at some point, uh, here's another element. At some point, you will have actual humans on, on the social networks but also artifacts, AI agents on those. So, so how will that interaction occur? And again, how do you make them robust uh, to, uh, you know, to, to, oper to behaviors that are not uh, uh, appropriate? So I heard a talk by Len Kleinrock, who was one of the founders of the internet, and he said that they didn't think they were building a network between people. They thought they were building a network between computers, but they were building a network between people, and had they thought about that, they would have thought created it completely different. And uh, now we have social media, and there is a lot of manipulation that can be done. We know that if we create content that is very manipulative and would cause you to be angry, you will probably be more inclined to forward it and to share it. And that has been shown again and again. Um, but, you know, we know about people who manipulated uh, review platforms and created, some person created a restaurant that never existed and gave it a very high ranking. And it, it took that person months to build that credibility. With bot persona now, with chat GPT personas, we can't believe anything that we will read online in, the, in, the, in a year or two, certainly not on review platforms. Would we have to create Facebook personas, to create Instagram personas? That would be really easy to create different personas that would communicate differently. So there was a work actually from Stanford a few months ago that they created these personas and they let them play between themselves. Nothing really happened because they're not really generative. So the authors had to inject events into that to create events. So you will have to have a human that would play there and inject events and create some generative stuff. Uh, but then it would be really easy to manipulate a lot of accounts and create a lot of personas. And yeah, I don't know what's going to happen. I think that uh, you know it's not only we're talking you know about uh, you know technical issues and what uh, what is possible and what not but uh, you know when you talk about fake news not about bots there is a question uh, there is a th you know a thin line I mean people are allowed to uh, you know to tell lies in a way and more than that you know truth is not only fact checking you can have uh, all the fact correctly, but uh, you know, uh, the analysis or uh, the deduction is is totally wrong. So, what is the thin line that you cannot cross, and whether or not uh, at some point by protecting uh, those effect, you are actually uh, you know diminishing the people' uh, right to uh, believe in what they want, and I think it's uh, also a philosophical question. Uh, I'll be happy to hear what you think about it. Okay. 
uh, I think that that the boss says the time's up. <laughs> so <laughs> I'll, I'll just say one sentence about it. Uh, the, the, this whole issue of democra de democracy is a huge, huge headache. Uh, and allowing people to say whatever they believe when it's it's complete bullshit, it's a huge, huge problem. And I don't have any answer for that. Yeah. OK, with this, uh, you know, uh Comic relief at the end. Uh, I thank you very much all and uh, thank you for the audience and enjoy the rest of the uh, conference.